evening folks. Everyone has been asking me how I've made these flowers, these paper flowers. So here it is on one of my cards. And I've gotten a lot of questions through email and on my blog on how I made these. They are super simple, a lot of fun. So I'm going to go through them real quick. What you need is any kind of text paper and the paper that I use is from an old um, thesaurus that I, I cut up and I used my Mavi Punch and this is the pink one the pink flower and it has six petals on it so this is the punch that I used and it's pretty cool because um, you can put about six layers of text paper together and then punch out uh, six flowers at a time you need twelve of them so you need 12 of these flowers and what I did was all I did was I scrunched them up and this is the fun part you just have fun scrunching them up the more scrunched the better and you should really scrunch them up individually don't do them um, you know all at one time or all together and the color that I got on these flowers is all from my Distress inks. And my Distress inks are Tim Holtz. And I have Mustard Seed, Tattered Rose, Peeled Paint, Fire Brick, Spiced Marmalade, and then the edge was done in Walnut Stain. So those are the colors I'm going to be using for that card that I just showed you. Now here we are. All, my, all these uh, flowers are all really smushed up. And what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to layer them. And as I layer, I kind of unscrunch them. And as I layer, I'm going to twist the petals. So I'm kind of centering them inside these two petals. And I center the next one inside those petals. And then I continue along um, unscrunching and some of them may rip because the paper is very um, obviously very thin and that's okay because the more scrunched and kind of rumpled up they are the better it is and I'm going along and I'm just layering my my petals and once again I didn't really because of time I didn't scrunch these up too too well you can really really get these really get these scrunched up and it's it's a nice way to do it because you get texture and then you get that fullness which is really nice and then as you put the ink on the ink will pick up on the lines the um, the wrinkled lines and the color comes out a little bit better so I've got my 12 petals and I'm coming down to my last few here that I'm going to unscrunch look how easy I mean this is just so simple so easy you can make these sitting I like to make these sitting in front of the TV so I don't eat <laughs> um, and the Olympics are on tonight so I'm gonna watch some nice Olympic games and make some more flowers all right so there we go there's my flower it doesn't look like too much right now you know it's kind of you know looks hey Donna looks kind of flat it's not looking great but we're gonna we're gonna fix that I'm just taking a regular old brad and it doesn't matter what color because you're not going to see these uh, you're not going to see the brad in the center and I take an old this is an old um, um, carrier for uh, brads that I, sa I save all of these because I use them as for my push pin and to make holes um, it's a great inexpensive tool so I put it on top of my my pad here I make a hole with my push pin goes right into the foam get a nice little hole there I put my brad through all the layers and it comes up on the other brad comes up on the other side and I just open it up okay now it's still not looking too great you're like wow you know I could have done that um, but now's the fun part now what I like to do is I lay my flower down and I go from top start with the top layer and I really really scrunch this in 
I mean, we're talking scrunch. Okay, and I do this all the way down. I take the next layer and I scrunch that one in. And we're talking really, I'm talking really mush it because this is going to be the center of your flower and we don't want this going anywhere. It's going to look like a carnation when it's done. And you take your next layer and you're really going to scrunch it. Okay, so see how that's working? Those are just three layers scrunched. So you can see that now we're getting some real dimension to our flower. Okay, here's the next one. And don't forget there's 12 layers here. So by the time you get to the bottom layer, there's really not going to be too much room for scrunching. Um, you know, because we're running out of room here. But that's what gives the flower its fullness. And I've tried doing it with less layers, and it just, I don't know, it just didn't seem quite right to me. So so here we go. You can really see the flower taking shape now. You can really see the, the scrunching and, and how it all is coming together. And when you're done with the scrunching is when we're going to have fun, we're going to start inking it. And uh, that's, uh, that's when the color comes in. Now, I can't take full credit for creating this flower or... Um, actually designing it. Uh, Dawn McVeigh has done a version of this flower and she puts a button in the center. Um, uh, Mercy Karen has done a version of this flower and she does use a brad um, but she doesn't I've never seen her use text paper or anything like that. So there are many different variations of this flower out there so I cannot claim that this is uh, my unique design. Um, but I figure where I got so many questions that I would show you how I actually create mine. So here I am. I'm down to my last three layers. And you can really see the flower now really, really coming together. And like I say, when you get down to the last few layers, it's really not, not too much can be scrunched because there's so much, so much paper. But that's all right. Okay, so that's what you're going to end up with. Now, very lightly, you're just going to start separating them. You don't want to separate the center ones. You just want to start on the outside and work your way out. Okay, leave the center ones as they are. We're just spreading out the last four or five layers, as you can see. Okay, and there is your flower. Now, you can leave it as it is if you'd like. I added ink to mine and very easily all I did was I took my distressed ink and I held my my flower here in my hand and I just mushed I mushed the ink pad right in look at that just mush it right in and the more I mushed the more the flower came alive. So there was red, I used my fire brick, then I used mustard seed. Oops. I used mustard seed. I love this yellow. Really bright, vibrant yellow. Look at that. It's really starting to come together now. And if your center petals start to come a little undone, you can always smush them back up again. So there's the yellow. I added a little, a little green. And once again, you can use any colors you want. These are just the colors that I used on my original. Look at that. Looks like a real carnation, doesn't it? Um, I did use tattered rose and spiced marmalade on my other one, but just for time's sake, you saw how I did those. And then I took my walnut stain, this is the darker one, and I went all around just lightly on the edges just to pick up the edges. I didn't want to lose a lot of the color, so I just did the edges just to pick that up. And there you go. Your flower is all done.